world's first 35 GTR drift car. It's the ultimate FR Monster. In 2014, the car made its debut at the Everest of drifting, the D1 Grand Prix. Today, we'll be looking behind the scenes at the development that led to this car's creation. 乗るのが決まった時の正直な感想はまあ勝つのは難しいだろうなっていうのが正直なところでしたね重量ですかね重い車に乗るとやっぱりハンデが大きいかなと思いましたね To conquer the drifting world with a GTR the team first needed to do something about the car's massive weight the D1 Tansos are a pure test of power. The more you have under the hood, the better. But you can't win the Tsuisos without the agility needed to get right beside your opponent without crashing. The GTR is a 1.7 ton heavyweight sports car, and that weight is a huge disadvantage when it comes to competing in D1. The mechanic's first mission was to trim all that fat. They replaced the windows with acrylic ones and used a lot of carbon in the chassis. Next, they had to deal with the muscular engine powering the GTR, which was also causing headaches. With a large diameter twin turbo attached to an already powerful engine, the car was capable of producing over 1,000 horsepower. Even trying to measure engine output was a lost cause, with the dynamometer unable to keep track after 1,000 horsepower. With a maximum torque of 127 kilogram centimeters, the car was most definitely a monster. Suzuka's the first spin was four or five spins. It was a very good spin. 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 Kawabata suffered throughout the first half of the season. There was one more obstacle that needed to be tackled. The intelligent 4WD system that is part and parcel of the GTR. GTR is originally high-tech 4WD. That's why the GTR had been modified into a front-engine rear-wheel drive drift car, but at the round two opening ceremony, the car failed to even start. This was an unwelcome surprise. The GTR's safety and speed are products of the car's cutting-edge electronics, which had all been removed to allow the car to drift. That left behind a wild beast of a car with only two rear tires to control its immense power. This それこそドライバー任せ、えー、ドライバーが運転しやすい車をまあ自分たちが作ってあげるのが一番成績が残るんじゃないかなと思ってます。It didn't help that the front tires had been modified to turn even more than usual to make it easier for the car to get into a nice drift. To create deeper drift angles, the front tires need to turn to a point where the car could easily get into a spin. To sum it up. The car's rear tires are the only things keeping the car in control as it pumps over 1,000 horsepower while sliding sideways. That's a tough gauntlet to survive for even the best tires in the world. The GTR driven by Kawabata is equipped with Toyo Proxis R1R tires. The R1R is the most high-spec and high-grip model in Toyo Tire's sport radial lineup, and this is the place where they are made. Let's hear what the development team is bringing to the GTR. 
限界付近を使い切るかっていうところが一番重要な競技だと思ってるんですよ滑っちゃった後いかに早く戻すかっていうドライバーが一番この微妙な境目で動いていくところを使いながら前に進めていく What does Kawabata think? 合成感っていうんですかね、まあ、表面のグリップもそうなんですけど地面に対してこう掴んでる感じがあるんですよねやっぱり乗りやすいですよね。A custom made size 19 R1R was developed just for the GTR. The new GTR was now a car at its most basic, an object designed to be controlled by man. It was now ready to be entered into the 2014 D1 Grand Prix. The first season was a year of trials and errors. Many walls stood in the way of Kawabata, but he continued breaking through them with passionate intensity. Challenge of the Century. In November 2014, with the season behind them, the team decided early one morning to take on the ultimate challenge Japan's first ever hill climb on a public road. It took place on Hakone Turnpike in the hot spring town of Hakone. The GTR dashed up this winding 8 kilometer road at mind boggling speeds. えっと、215キロ。あの車だったらなんかね、どこでも滑れるような気がします。タイヤの性能の限界を上げていってより良いタイヤを作っていくということにつきます9の苦しさ1の楽しみみたいな感じかもしれないですね自分たちがやりたいことをやれてるでもう結果が出ることがやっぱり楽しいですねまず今まで自分の中で完璧な価値がまだないんですよねもうずーっと相手との車に対して1センチぐらいとかもうゼロチップぐらいな感じの距離でずーっと走り続けたいんですよ、うん、だからそれがやっぱりできるまでは、うん、まあずっとやっていきたいなっていう感じはあります、はい、Every person working on the car has their own reasons for doing what they do but they all have the same goal in mind 